Welcome to another fine episode of the Hammered Ham. Terry here with a Globe Chief Deluxe Transmitter, primarily intended for CW, but I'm going to show you some other cool things that this little radio can do. But first, get rid of the manual. And the Hammered Ham really can't operate without a good bottle of vino. There it is. What you guys would expect from me. Now, let's go over to the Globe. I'll show you what we got going on. So let's get some lighting on the situation here. All right. So here we got a glass of wine. No, what we have is a Globe Chief Deluxe Transmitter. Okay. So this was the last attempt that Globe had to stay in business. This is like at the end of their life, unfortunately. So in the old days, they used to make these big boat anchor looking transmitters. And then at the end, they said, man, we got to do something slick like Collins. All right. So that's kind of the looks of the Globe Chief Deluxe. A very cool transmitter, but still had some inherent issues like the magic boing boing meter. So watch this meter when I'm transmitting. So you see, I mean, it's like totally useless, all right? Now, if I were to put it in a tune position, it'll eventually settle down and you can dip your tuning, okay? And you can hear that it's also drifting. Now, I don't know if the drift is actually the Globe Chief or my National 183D in the background because I have not had it on for a long period of time. However, if you get a hold of a Globe Chief Deluxe or a Globe Chief 90 or 90A, you're going to have the coolest, punchiest signal on the CW bands. Now, let me show you something else that this thing does that I didn't even know until I started shooting this video. So right here is the basic construction of the Globe Chief. To make it a sleeker, more compact design, they laid the 807s on their side, okay? So you gotta be very careful, especially if you're sticking a camera in here, that there's high voltage available right here on those anode caps, right? I could like pop my little fingernail off if I were to touch them. There's a lot of heat here also. So not only do you have the 807s, but you have a 5U4 rectifier and then I believe this was a 6, uh, 6G A7. I can't remember what the oscillator is. Maybe I should actually read it. But anyway, this is your oscillator tube, rectifier, and outputs. And that's all there was in the Globe Chief. Now, let me show you something really cool. So here we are. You're getting ready to run your Globe Chief. So you take your function switch. You put it into tune. You'll see the little needle go up a little bit. And this was designed for simply peaking your oscillator, okay? But what I found, as you're in tune position, take a look at my watt meter. Now I'm going to put it in tune and hold it, and you can see that you get about 4 to 5 watts of power out of this thing in the tune position. So you could actually run a little Globe Chief Deluxe as a QRP tube type transmitter. So that's very cool because this signal that we're monitoring on the 183D is that crystal frequency. Now I can go into operate and you can see it's the same signal just at a higher amplitude. So now if we go back to the operate, let's take a look at that watt meter again. Now in this case, watch your watt meter. Now I'm going to go to tune, get an easy 60 watts out of that pair of 807s. So it's a very powerful CW transmitter, all right? And you can run a standard ham keyer on this thing. And of course I got my Jones paddle. And it puts out some beautiful CW. The only issue is the old floppy flop meter. That's really got to go. 
Now on some of these conversions, I have actually changed this out with a standard meter and then it gives you a nice smooth response like you'd see on any transmitter. Unfortunately, this old style, they'd boing boing around. This is the same kind of meter that they used to use like on old vintage battery chargers. So, you know, when they did this upgrade, they probably should have upgraded that meter. But it's still a very cool transmitter. Now, here's the next thing that's very cool about the Gold Chief. They had an accessory which is almost impossible to find, and it is the SM90 screen modulator, okay? So if you said, man, I want to put my Globe Chief transmitter on AM, you can do it with this little module. Unfortunately, this radio wasn't around long enough for people to have explored that possibility. I have never seen one of these for sale, unfortunately. But it would have been cool to run it, so I have an option for you. If you were to take a look at the diagram here for the accessory plug, you'll see they show you disconnect 9 and 3 and you put a plate modulator in series with it. So what does D-Lab have? Right here I have the D-Lab EF Johnson Defiant 30 watt plate modulator, okay? And I just happen to have that hooked up to the Globe Chief, all right? So right now, we're obviously in CW mode, all right? So that's how we are doing CW, but now we're gonna unplug the key. We're gonna plug the modulator in. Now what the modulator is doing here is obviously to key up the transmitter you had to close the key contact all right so the modulator is going to provide that function for us plus it's going to plate modulate the voltage going to the 807 tubes so i'm going to take my national we're going to turn off the cwo function I'm going to grab the old d104 microphonium and we are going to try to see how good it sounds on AM. Now there could be a little bit of feedback because I'm pretty close to the speaker. Okay. Oh, how about I put it in AM mode? <laughs> you almost had me. All right. Whoa. Okay, hold on. I knew that was gonna happen. There we go. Okay. So here we are plate modulating the Globe Chief. Let me tune this in. Scowls out. Listen to that. Try to get down here to where it doesn't uh, feed back, but listen to that plate modulation coming off of the Globe Chief Deluxe Transmitter. So obviously to do this, you would have to build a modulator, all right? This is my holy grail of modulators. No, I won't sell it, okay? Because I love it. But you can build one of these things, all right? There's plenty of information out there. Ico made a model, I believe it was a 730 modulator. You can hook that into the Globe Chief and you can get this. And if you get on the air with something like that and the guys are like, what the heck are you running? I'm running a Globe Chief Deluxe AM mode. Unheard of. What do you think of that? So there you have it, another fine production from the Hammered Ham, my shack to you, showing you some very cool vintage ham radio equipment. In this case, the Globe Chief Deluxe, which is a great transmitter. However, if you get a hold of one of these, you're going to find out that locating the original manual is next to impossible. And the reason that most guys are looking for that manual is because you're missing those accessory plugs on the back and you're trying to get the transmitter to operate. Without them, it won't even fire up. The tubes won't even stink and glow. I don't know why they did it that way, but they did. So here is the wiring of the rear plugs for the Globe Chief. So here you can see you've got your grid type keying, you got your cathode keying, and then here is the hard to find nine pin accessory plug 
that routes your filament voltage and your high voltage. They did this putting a deliberate 9 and an 8 pin plug so you can't screw it up. However, if you don't have that information, you're never going to get that Globe Chief to even turn on because 807s would be cold as cucumbers. They ran the filament voltage through the plug. I don't know why they did that. Okay. If you need any information from the original manual, I have it. I'd be glad to provide you this information. And I do plan on scanning this book and uploading it to Obama so that you guys can have it in the future. I just need some time to do that. And D-Lab doesn't have a lot of spare time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I really enjoyed presenting the old Globe Chief to you guys. We'll see you again.